New at 10, a proposed expansion of the Bridge of the Americas port of entry could impact the El Paso County Coliseum area, specifically the ice rink. ABC 7's Rachel Phillips reports. Just half a mile separates the El Paso County Events Center and the Bridge of the Americas. A current proposal to expand the port of entry could see the event center demolished and the only ice rink from Albuquerque to Odessa opened year round, closed for good. Everything that we've worked for would be gone. Speed, skill, and shots like this. That's what fans of the El Paso Rhinos hockey team have become accustomed to ever since the event center was transformed into a rink in 2006. But all of that could change. The U.S. General Services Administration proposed three plans to expand the Bridge of the Americas. Two of those would completely wipe out the event center, with one of them also demolishing the county coliseum. The third plan would keep the building, but not allow the rink to grow at all. I do not like for people to come in and determine that they know better. We're being asked to impose a situation that's going to impact the rest of the community. Our hope is nothing happens. Um, you know, we, like I said, we want to stay here, we want to expand, and we're unable to do that with any of the proposals. About 20,000 people, including figure skaters, pass through the doors weekly. We are not basketball, we do not, we can't have an open gymnasium, or we don't have a park that we can go skate at. So if we no longer had this building, our sport would be obsolete. We spent a lot of time, blood, sweat, tears, um, to make this building what it is, and so to lose it would be awful. A major investment came just in 2020 when the old horse barn turned rink earned $150,000 worth of upgrades by winning the Craft Hockeyville USA competition. The federal government's proposal does not include compensation or relocation, but the county judge told me it would have to pay the county for the land. Ricardo Samiego told me he'd rather see that money go towards creating a port system across all of the bridges. They're only thinking about their footprint and not how you connect to the rest of the community. We're going to have a really serious situation here if we, if things continue to go without our, our feedback. And the hockey and skating community are asking for your help. If you head to our website, kvr.com, click on this story, you can fill out the form and talk about why you think this rink is so important to the community. That form is due by April 11th. The county officials told me you can also reach out to Congresswoman Veronica Escobar. Now reporting from the County Events Center, Rachel Phillips, ABC7.